Hmm, pondered Beethro. So far, I see mostly roaches down here. This seems like a cake job. Everybody knows you go south first. Challenge, strike only five orbs. When re-entering this room after clearing it, use the command key to open all the doors. Oh, I see. That's just going to be redundant with this, right? <laughs> Find the Prince of Levels. We must plan for his succession. Yeah, there was one whole Wraith Wing. Alright, so... So this is so blue is toggle okay orange is toggle See I I'm I feel I feel very confident that I can get this challenge I just have to write all of these down and then plan for a moment For a very brief moment I'm very good at video games and puzzles. This seems to be a puzzle inside a video game. Toggle 103C5. C40703. The power of writing. Yeah. 308 C7 O1 T5 C3 O4 C1 O3 T2 O6 C5 There are a lot of them though. T4, T5. O3, C7. And finally, C8. What sort of a madman would want to close? Right? Right? Alright, so how many ways are there to open one? Oops. And there's eight in total. Wait, what, did, what did this one say again? I actually was a little bit too sloppy. That's a C. C7. Alright, so how about two? Two. We toggled with this. And that's it. So we're definitely hitting that one. Three. Over here. Over here. Over here. Close three. Open three. Right here. Open three. Well, there's a lot of ways to open three. We're not going to have to worry about three. Four. Uh, five. Close five. Toggle five. Toggle five. Six. Open six. Oh, so I do that. Seven, open seven. Nope, not you. Seven, 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 nope. And eight. Eight, open. Feeling eight. Six. 
So confident that we're definitely hitting this one. Definitely hitting this one. Um, there's only one six, so we're definitely hitting that one. We still need one, four, five. Hmm. Would it help if you started saying numbers? It would help if you were to explain to me the Gostakian. Like 3, 17, 15, 8, 4, 2, 1, 4. It could be brute forced. I almost have the solution though. It's this one, this one, this one. That's going to get me 2, 3, 6, 7, and 8. I need 1, 4, and 5. Which is either 1, 5, and then 4. Oh, I don't need... No. Yes. Like that and then that, that would be a clever solution. All right, so which ones have toggles here? Man, I wish I, wish I had a way to designate these things that did not involve writing more numbers on top of them, because that's confusing. Uh, so that one first. Then this one is going to toggle five. Then we close it. Then we open it again. Oh, no, the very last that's that's going to be the very last one. That's four, and then that's five. Sure, uh, let's see if that works. Uh, so that's gonna be number three. And then number uh, four. And then six. And then two. It did work. S seven. Yeah, challenge completed. Five orbs of bill. That's that's one. So hold on, is there an achievement for every single challenge level? Because that would be a lot of achievements, I gather. Where where are you, Steam? Oh wait wait wait, there it was. Yeah, wow, wow, you can get a lot of achievements. Uh, I was counting from the top. <laughs> and and then I toggled it again by happy accident. Is there a lock? Uh, there's a lock button that stops you from exiting? I don't know where that could possibly be. You would have written a small script to solve it? No way. No, it was obvious to me at once. That each each door would or many of the gates would only have one thing that opened them. So to to explain real quick what the heck that means, <laughs> I looked for all of the switches that could could open door one either by opening it or by toggling it, and then I did that for all eight gates. And then for several, I was like, okay, there's only one of these that opens eight, so we're definitely hitting that one. There's only one that opens seven, so we're definitely hitting that one. There's only one that opens six, so we're definitely hitting that one. 
There's only one that opens two. Oh, it's the same one that opens six. And then was like, okay, what would I need? What would I want to hit for the other two? Keeping in mind that whatever my last hit is has to have no closes on it. And that made it really easy. For a genius. I go up. Oh no, what a mistake. Oh, um... Oh, well, that's okay then. I was worried. Oh wait, the, the only point of that is to hit a checkpoint. Uh, the timer, every 30 seconds, queens spawn new roaches. <laughs> Annoyingly, my <laughs> you guys can't see it, but I keep, uh, the Steam overlay keeps showing that uh, one of my friends is, uh, is apparently, like, starting and stopping a game, or several games at once. For some, for some reason. So it's causing, like, a little pop-up to block part of the game window. See how I'm. Oh. I can see how I might be missing out on part of the game by not having that. Uh... Oh, I get it. Okay, I get it. No, okay, so there are still there should, there are still some puzzles. Um but No, wait. What toggles? That over there. So I need to scare the queen up, then hit this orb without scaring her back down, then come up here. She leaves the room. Oh, son of a... why? Why did you go on there? Is it unsolvable? Now? now I have to back up. Let's back up. <laughs> no, there's no way I can race her over there. And that's the only toggle. What the hell? You know what, if I, if I... If I just delay and let this room fill up entirely... <laughs> does that help? It's 
Let's see if that's enough. Oh, but now she can't. Ah. <laughs> um. Farm an entire blockade like this? Perhaps not. Perhaps, though. Let's see. It's too many. It was fine a moment ago. Now it's not. Oh, no, no, no. I get it. I get it. I have to wait for her to spawn. That will delay her. Okay. Let's... Let's kill a million roaches, and then... <coughs> what if the whole world was actually bugs? We're going to now. a bit and then go okay go you're free you're free you're free oh look you spawn no no still no still no still no Okay, hold on. Let me let me try. Okay, fifteen, and then I go boop 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 do 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 Almost one one more. Wait, one more. No, wait, one earlier or one later? One earlier. Or no, one one earlier. Nope, one later. Nope, two. <laughs> they still went around her. Why? No, no nightmares. 
So like this is no good because then they get here and then they start flocking out. Even that's no good. Why? And then that was especially no good. That's enough out of you. <laughs> okay, this one I don't get. Oh, wait. Can I just scare it up instead? I totally can. Crisis averted. No, you can't scare it. Uh, can you? No, no, you can't. Scaring it up just puts it in that corner. seems like the answer. I don't know what to tell you guys. What was the problem, by the way, with filling this entire... Can't get her to flee. Has to be able to move the one space. <laughs> this one has got me already. I don't know the answer. Actual exterminator fails to kill a single roach. I did a great job, though. Actual exterminator kills an infinite number of roaches. How do you like that story? It, so the only thing that toggles that is that. But this also toggles those. This one is only toggled by that. I don't want to... I don't want her to go back in there. Oh, wait. That closes that. What opens it? Oh, that one op I... Ow. Well, okay then. The secret the whole time was to not be dumb. It's fine if both of the doors are open.
Did I do that? Maybe not. What is this? Evil Eye. Oh. Does that do something bad? Clear the room without waking any evil eyes. That's what happens. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to go for this challenge, I don't think. Very quickly, going to find myself not having a good time. All right, do do. <laughs> yes, the evil eye of Orms by Gore, precisely. The secret is to kill the roach. No, 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 no. There's too many. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. that many, huh? Perfectly fine. Corners are good. Okay. Corners can be used to defend yourself like that. So you still have to kill the evil eyes, it's just there's a way to do it without awakening them, I see.
So there's a big long maze over there. What are we gonna do? Go through it? Such a long walk, it almost seems unnecessary. Are you having a goof? Are you having a goof on me, game? Roaches in nine consecutive turns. Still not sure how one would do that other than lining them up. I'm sure there's there's a way though. Toggle, 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 toggle. Toggle. This is basically going to work the same as the other puzzle, just uh, less explicit. If I have one, two, if I, the ones that I care about are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's do it by the same, the same method. Same flawless method. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Numbering them like one, two, three, four, and then over here, five, six, seven. Um, so that's one and three. That one I don't think I care about. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't care about either one of those. This toggles one, two, three, four, and six. This toggles five. And this toggles Two and seven. And what I want is to go. Oh, you know what? I bet in order to get the challenge, you do have to use the other, maybe? Who knows? Um, basically, what I want is to hit this. Bottom one here, two, seven. Um, and now I want to toggle just five and six, but that's also going to toggle the four. So 
So which one is the f this one? All right, so this one right here. We gotta let them go through and then close this. Yeah, that works. Spread them out a bit more? Not really. Oops, not, th not that far. Okay, so what it really is, is how do I get all nine of them out at once? Which might be as simple as going, don't separate them. Let them... done a bad job of not separating them. Let's... There's no way. Is there no way to avoid that? Yeah, never mind. All right. Well, never mind the challenge, because that's actually quite difficult. Every single time wrong. <laughs> Your castle dungeons are almost entirely empty of roaches, except one tiny closet <laughs> entirely full of roaches. Good news is you can't get to that closet anyways on account of some arrows painted on the floor, so just don't open it. Yellow, you say? What are you? Yellow door. Of course. I think the answer here is to kill the roaches. Oh no, but doing the thing is going to make it bad. Look, it was bad. Um.
curiously difficult level here. <laughs> One of the games in the Microsoft Windows Entertainment Pack. Chips Challenge sounds familiar. I don't know what Jez Ball is, but Chips Challenge. Um. Oh, ha! That was the answer. Use my sword. Very well. Like, I have to... I This... This... This state of affairs is correct. What next? Nothing except for that direction. Nothing except for... Well, I guess any of the downs will work. Oh... No. <laughs> oh, didn't mean to hit reset. I'm at a little bit of a loss with this one. Hold on, what? Moving diagonally towards him. Okay, so I guess the way that it works is you, you move the sword makes the kill, and then the enemies take their turn. Would not have figured that out on my own, except for by accident. <laughs> you put sword in the roach. It's easy. Is puzzle? I don't know, what are you? A mimic potion? Does it turn me into a roach? Does it turn roaches into me? Do I not complete the puzzle at all? that somehow curious <laughs> this room is good for learning how to use mimics you'll need to master the mimics to conquer the next level select a well-spaced formation to keep the mimics from getting killed by your sword or theirs. What? Don't drink any mimic potions or break the crumbly wall. What? Oh, wow. Wait, so mimic, mimics, mimics don't die. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, how do I win? 
wait a dang second. How do I win? Hold on. Let's back up. So that was very easy. Oh wait, there's also a crumbly wall here? I could have just run... Okay. So that one's very... That is very much tutorial level. <laughs> you can... You can die of the mimics. Okay, good. Good. Wait, are you sure? Are you sure it's removed? Or did you capitalize it wrong? Cause why would he move why would he remove it? It's so good. There you go. Correctly spelled his brother's name. Ah. Ah, roaches. I see. I see. Oh no, even that doesn't work. Okay. That's no good. That's no good. I can loop around. Oh, that's not an exit. Right on. Couple hours in. What are my thoughts? Um, I probably won't do another stream of it. Um, I I could see being way into this, it, like if it was the only thing around. <laughs> I don't dislike it, but there are things about the. There are some things that I dislike in puzzles. For example. Going, okay, I've I've solved the puzzle, but now I just need to clean up, like, the extra 30 roaches that are around. Will I do NetHack next time? Should I? Should that be my Saturday game? NetHack? I don't think so. <laughs> um, I, I think it's just a consequence of the fact that the, the levels work this way. That you can, you can wind up going, like, okay... And, and now to defeat all of the other roaches. And it's like, that's usually a trivial solution because I'm playing on cheaty mode where I can just rewind if I go, oh, I should have swung left instead of right, or I shouldn't have stepped forward. Um, 
I feel like I am getting a different experience from the game than I would get if it were... But if, <laughs> but if I were playing it with the only one rewind, then it would be a much more frustrating... Like, I wouldn't have gotten as far as I did, because I would have had more times where I needed to restart. Uh, later games get more story, writing, and humor heavy. This one is mostly puzzles. But the humor is pretty good. So maybe I shouldn't have started with this one. Because this is the... Well, judging from the title of the, the window, it looks like it's DROD5. Alright, so I don't think I want to... Oh, I see. I need to trap them... Trap them all down here before I... Yeah, there we go. Oh no. I can't leave if I do it that way. Wait, that wasn't it. What did that do? I get this over there okay What am I trying to do, though? Going going in here is bad. I'm stuck in here once I come in. Do what I just did. I go like this. I go like this. I go like this. Can I get the last guy in? Come on. Come on. Do it. One time for Papa Heat Ten. Go. Oh, well, he's trapped anyway. Good. Can I go like this? Ah, okay. I'm like, there. there's really no... <laughs> there's no way to get all the way down there. And I have to, but there is. Because the corner. I'm like, how on earth? Oh, the same way as always. <laughs> the same exact way as always. I must warn you about mimics. They are neither your friends nor your enemies. They simply like to move exactly as you do. Don't turn your back on them.
So where would be a good place to put it? Um, oh, you know what? I th is the level already unbeatable? Oh, no, 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 never mind. I forgot that the mimics also move. Oh, hmm. Let's put them here. Ah, uh, no. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares from the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll see if that works. It does. I killed him. Face west every time you kill until only the queen is remaining. Nah. The prisoners have been eaten by dungeon roaches, and I'm next. You can't pay me enough to work this job. I'm out of here. Prison warden. Adjust it. Prisoners left? This is going to be a lonely job with no one to talk to. It, it seems like, um... You... The problem is, you can move... If, if the clone... If the mimic can't move, but you can, then that's fine. But uh, if you are up against a wall, you can't get the clone to come closer to you by moving. But I probably, yeah, could have used the, the walls within the, uh, what do you call it? Plus, some of these also seem like the challenge might be very, very variable, depending on whether you're going for the challenge or not. So I don't know if, if these are going to be, like, unpleasantly easy because of the fact that I'm not going for the challenges most of the time. Where it's like, I mean, this one is pretty much just busy work. Like, this one is... That was a deliberate joke, you understand. Sometimes I die to be funny. Leave me alone. Like, that one was pretty trivially easy because I wasn't trying for the challenge. Kill the roaches in three consecutive turns. Oh, if they ever get trapped, they're trapped forever. Double Baba Logic. Right, right. Baba Logic was different because both of the Babas were definitely you. Neither one of them were in, in um... It's the word I'm looking for. There isn't one. We'll have to make one up. Insubstantuary. That's a good word. Oh, I see. I can I can easily lead them out one at a time. But if I wanted the uh Oh, hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay. He still made it. Nope. Just kidding. He didn't. All right. Have a good one, blind. She'll see you later. And now this one. Hmm. How how can I free him in an acceptable manner? Like this? No. Hmm. I s nope, I don't see. I do see. Look at this. It is a little bit early, but I still need to eat. I'm actually very hungry. <laughs> so I think we'll wrap up here. Um, it's fine. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to properly rate. I don't know how to properly describe. Usually, I'm good with puzzle games, with being able to say this is what I like and this is what I don't like. Um, part of it, even though I'm sure it's totally deterministic, it's not random in any way, but the movement of the roaches kept throwing me off a bit. Um, but that's, that's just a matter of getting used to it. Um, like, I had more fun with the puzzle that had nothing to do with killing the roaches. That was just, here are the switches, figure out which switches open which doors, you know, which are the good ones to hit. Um. I wonder if there are any, like, really good challenging puzzles that I would have liked to have tried on hard mode. But even, even like this one, running, running the, the 30 or 40 squares around the whole thing in order to go, okay, I need to be over here, is just enough of a... Like, I'm, I'm just that impatient to go, oh, that's too far to go. I want it to be faster. <laughs> and I'm sure you... I mean, I can adjust the repeat speed and whatnot, but... Yeah, I don't... I'm not even sure where else there was that I was going to go. But that's going to be it for tonight. Um, DROD uh, overall passing-ish grade. Yeah, puzzle design in this series gets very good and ve very complex, but it's extremely long. It's a bit like the One Piece problem. <laughs> That if I were to stick, right, like, I'm I'm obviously right now only see what have I seen so far? What mechanics? There's the regular roaches, the wraiths, or whatever they were called, the queens, the evil eyes, mimic potions, and that's about it. Um... There's plenty of other stuff that could be added, and yeah, maybe later on you do get to puzzles that are very... There's... I don't know. There's something about it that... My inability... 
to predict what's going to happen, like exactly what's going to happen when I make a move, like when I go, okay, I'm gonna go diagonally down, and for me to go, oh, oh, it didn't work. At, there, there was a little bit too much of that, which was, a lot of it was just me not quite wrapping my head around some of the, like when I said, oh, I think what I have to do for this is get the queen to spawn eggs on a specific turn, like when she's almost to the thing. And that was largely me not totally having a grasp on what happens when there's a queen here who wants to go this way and a drone or, you know, a normal roach here that wants to go that way. It, it makes sense the more you see it, I'm sure, but <laughs> there's little Z's coming off of them. There is plenty about this game that, um, like, the different facial features that he makes, like, when you're up, when you're about to kill a roach, or, the, you know, there's a roach next to you, the way he scans with his eyes while you're reading something. There's a lot of, a lot of polish in here for a game from the mid-90s. <laughs> Yeah, 1996. Yeah, like I was just saying, for for a game of that era, this is this is quite good. But now it's just sort of like, eh. and I'm sorry that I didn't get to see like some of the writing for later. But I I feel like there's other stuff that I would rather that I would rather be playing. So let me think. Um, <laughs> the ugly protagonist is also definitely unusual. When I went to go. Google the um the image just to to put it under me, and I was like, "Woof, this guy." <laughs> so, have a bunch of you guys have played this before? Apparently, <laughs> Chocolate Castle by Lexalawful Games might be more your style in terms of tile-based puzzling. I don't know. I don't know if do I have something against tile-based puzzling? I liked Baba. That doesn't count. Baba's a perfect game. <laughs> um. But like normal, just like Soko Sokoban type games, I don't know. I don't think I like those. I don't know. It's suddenly difficult to think what I like in puzzles. I guess I like when there's very little obstacle between the the aha I've got it and the execution. Like the the witness, for example. You're doing a puzzle and it's very complex. And you're like, oh, man, is it like this? And as soon as you go, oh, there's there's less than two seconds between the O oh and the ding that says you can move on to the next puzzle. Which you're not going to get in a tile-based game just because of how much moving around there needs to be. For any given sequence of moves, there's too many options. So the puzzle is either loose or the one solution is hard to suss out. Right, like the the one that I was, um, which one was it? I'm nearby it, right? Whatever the one was with the uh, here, there were there was only one move that was ever going to work, and even then, it took me a while to figure it out because it it didn't it didn't immediately make sense to me. Speaking of the witness, check this out. If I have half a minute to spare, I do. The one perfect puzzle that made... Three days, three days, how generous of you. <laughs> I, I think it took much longer than this. Baba is... Wait, Baba is witness? Oh my god. <laughs> wait, so, and then is it... Does it actually... That's the solution? What happens when you get here? What happens when he gets to the end? Then you push it and it fills them. Oh my god. That's great. <laughs> I'm sorry that I get, I could have pulled it up on screen maybe. But other people can click on it if they wish. It's free country. Right, yeah, yeah, I get that it's teaching me the move. It's not like the puzzle, the puzzle puzzle is to figure it out. Also, why is there, well, it doesn't matter. All right, so it was it was fun enough to occupy me for a little bit. 
Um, I think the plan is Sunday, unsurprisingly, more mentor roulettes. And then uh, Tuesday, we'll finish up Kingdom of Loathing and then start... What was I going to do? Was it going to be La Mulana or not yet? I think when I do La Mulana, I'm just going to make that all three days. All three, instead of having two different uh, games to play. Because it's kind of both, right? Um, we'll figure it out.